Why do they keep bringing up the past? Five reasons your partner holds grudges. Does your partner keep bringing up the past? Or does it feel like nothing you ever do is good enough for them? A common theme that many couples face is the issue with moving on from past conflicts. If you're one of those people thinking, why do they keep bringing up the past? It never stops. They never let things go. They're so negative. They never see my attempts at making things better. I am always wrong. They're always nagging at me for something. If you're thinking any of these, then there's definitely an issue that needs to be addressed. Although there could be a variety of reasons why they keep bringing up the past, I'm going to tell you my top five reasons to keep doing this. Reason one, she feels insecure and needs something from you. Sometimes when a partner is bringing up past issues, they're feeling insecure in the relationship and they aren't getting something that they're needing. Maybe your partner doesn't know what's missing, but something is causing them to feel insecure about your relationship. They could be still hurt about an issue that happened six months ago, but unfortunately, ignoring emotions doesn't make them go away and those emotions are going to build up and then they're going to explode on you in the future. This is probably the reason why some people perceive their partner as unpredictable and that they have to walk on eggshells. Both need to work together, you need to try understanding each other's emotions. You also need to take the risk of expressing what you need instead of waiting until you snap out of nowhere. Reason two, they don't feel the past was fully repaired. To repair past conflict in a healthy way, it's mostly about validating each other's perspectives without trying to win the argument. If your intention is to be right, then you've already lost the ability to repair anything with your partner. Your intentions should be to deepen your understanding of each other. And this is gonna help you to continue to respect each other and to feel secure with one another in the relationship. If your partner feels hurt by you, try to understand why instead of getting defensive. Getting defensive is the easy route. It's natural to say to them they're wrong because you don't agree or your intentions are different to theirs. But then this becomes about being right rather than validating each other and understanding the misunderstanding. Remember, you sort out any disagreement by validating each other and trying to see your partner's perspective. Reason three, you keep trying to fix the problem. If your partner keeps bringing up recurring issues, it may be because you're trying too hard to fix it, rather than just acknowledging it. Women tend to emotionally process while they externally express. Whereas men, we tend to internally process and then choose to emotionally express. Both are totally opposite. Not one is right, and not one is wrong. But you need to understand that both typically go about working through issues completely different. So allow her to have her space and to have her emotional reactions. Try giving her space emotionally first. Let her vent and then offer a reflection of validation towards the situation. Reason four, you aren't validating them in the way that they need it. The biggest reason anyone holds on to the past is because they didn't feel heard or fully understood by the person that hurt them. What they need from you is for you to validate their feelings. And you could do this just by saying after a conflict, I understand that I upset you when I did such and such, and then stop. Nothing else is required in that exact moment. Once they feel validated and feel like you understand why they're upset, they're going to become more logical and their defensive or emotional state will decrease. They will become vulnerable and allow you to come in. Reason five, you're taking on moods person. Women tend to be more emotionally expressive than men. And this may lead you to think that every time she's in a bad mood, that's personally targeted at you. But really it's not. Just take a step back and think, she may not even be upset with you. Ask her for clarity by saying, are you upset with me? Rather than, what's your problem? as that will get a more negative reaction from her. Try asking her, what do you need in this moment? How can I help? Just by letting her be a little emotional may help her de-escalate and calm down. 